Hello ladies and gentlemen, Captain Shack here, and welcome to some more Space Engineers coverage. Now, this is the first build that I've done that has brought my rig down to its knees. I mean, it is huge, but it's so awesome, I couldn't not show you. So forgive the little bit of frame rate stutter, uh, or a ton of frame rate stutter if there is some, because this build is pretty crazy. All right, here goes the, the big reveal. Ready? Ba ba ba. Oh yeah, that thing is friggin' badass. That is the Behemoth class battle cruiser. Battle cruiser reporting from uh, StarCraft II. And the dude made it to like scale, full on to scale. So I'll throw a clip in here from StarCraft II, and you can just see that sucker. Pretty close there, Matt. Never left you hanging before, sir. Fair enough. Just get us the hell out of here. All batteries, concentrate forward firepower. Spin up drives two and six. All hands brace for warp jump on my mark. Mark. Yeah, that thing is awesome. All right, so let's go up there, let's check it out, and see if I can get my computer to, you know, crash and burn. Flip the view around real quick. Zoom out a bit. Remember my controls, Wee! But look at this thing, let me, let me pan out. Just look at that thing. It's a monster, and it has all the gun turrets in the place from like the shots you see in all the video. I mean, the guy's done a fantastic job. Where the uh, Yamato cannon in the front's supposed to go is actually thrusters, big ass engines, which is good. And I kind of stole this idea from him to do my own build that I'm working on right now, because the Klingon Warbird has the same deal. It has this big round open area, which is supposed to be a weapon, but there's no weapons that really match that kind of build. See, there you go. So it gives you this big light source. His is way larger than my build is currently. You can see all the thrusters on it. It's really detailed. It has the inside as well. Done. Let's see if can we get in this way? No, can't get in this way. Yeah, there's actually a docking port in the back for what looks like a small shuttlecraft. Uh, it's too bad you can't fit like a dropship from StarCraft in here. I don't think you could though. So we can see, like, let's let's get down to the uh, the the hall. See all the windows, the ports, the gun turrets. Now this one, I just I want to see this thing swarmed by Zerg and all those gun turrets just firing off like mad. He's made little intakes for engines. I thought that was a nice touch. That's pretty cool. Do it. Do it. They're not spinning. Like he could have done it too, probably. Um, you just set it up with a thruster and a cockpit, get them spinning, turn off the gyroscope on that little piece, and then just allow them to spin freely. These are thrusters surrounded by, you know, painted blocks, and he only painted very small sections, which really, really works well. You don't have to paint the whole ship to make it look good. I like the, uh, the gun metal color, and then the big ass engines in the back. Just rows and rows of engines and thrusters. All right, so the shuttle bay that I was talking about should be right below here. See what I'm saying though? You can't really get a full-on dropship in here. Now you could, I guess, if you took out this section, or if somehow this could be like pulled up. That's something I think they need. They need like blocks that'll move other blocks so you can actually open up the bay doors and have these gigantic doors. Um, I'm really digging the uh, the warning, the caution strips. I'm actually probably gonna steal that idea too, because that's fantastic. All right, look around here a bit. Inside is kind of lacking in detail when it comes to like lights. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not gonna bother putting lights in. Let's run upstairs, try to find the the bridge. It's got some storage areas. If you walk around those corners, you'll find more storage areas, more storage back here. What well, looks like um, you can look down into the shuttle bay, which is a nice touch. Did doors do anything yet? I know they did a, a patch recently. Nah, they don't do anything yet. They did a patch recently where um, 
Can you go up here? What's up here? Where you can do mining. Like, all the actual mining equipment works. Okay, I think this is heading to the bridge. So more... Yeah, more storage, more engineering rooms, bunch of uh, gyroscopes and reactors and whatnot. Run up here. Do, 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 do. How big this place is. Like, you don't realize from the outside how actually huge this thing is. Here we go. And now we're on the bridge. The command deck. Run up here. Oh, something that I noticed that's kind of weird and freaked me out the first time. There's a dude sitting in this chair. Now, is he the logged out, like, the character for the builder? I've never seen this in any of the other builds that I've covered, so that that was like, whoa, there's no multiplayer. How the hell are you here? All right, focus. Damn, ADD is just strong. Strong in the ADD force today. Got the power and the bridge. So we'll jump on the bridge and look at this beast. Now, when I move her, I bet anything my my FPS is gonna tank, if not the game may even crash. I'm running this with Fraps as well, having a few issues with my capture card right now, but look at this thing, it's a monster. It's a friggin' monster, and I, I just wanna see the Zerg just rushing it from all sides and the gun turrets going crazy. All right, full forward thrust, let's kick on the engines. Actually, let's find out where we're gonna go. And we'll find out what we're gonna ram. <laughs> because like any good space engineers, Video, this needs to end in a horrible, horrible explosion of death. Oh yeah, that FPS is tanking. Still pretty good though, for the sheer scale of this, and I think there's more builds in this world. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She's fairly maneuverable, probably because of all the gyroscopes. Let's see what she's got. She's got 1,043 thrusters and 829 gyroscopes. So I will give it that. It definitely has a very large amount of equipment on board. All right, the course is set. Collision course, ramming speed. And things like the Hyperion, I love it. I freaking love it. Look at those thrusters on every side, like every little, but they're hidden well. I like it, I like it. I, they're like little ports on the sides, little the warning tapes on the ends. Very cool. Takes a while to get up to speed though. I mean, how fast are we going? Speed 30 meters a second. All right, I guess it's all relative, you know, when you're, your ship's two miles long. <laughs> you're doing 40 meters a second. You're, you're moving pretty fast. Oh, we may actually be going above it. Come on, bring the nose down. The one thing I haven't tried with the mining is actually mining some of the uh, the rarer resources, like the these other rocks. Because, like, see over there on the left? I don't know, it might be hard for you guys to see. There's a blue rock. Oh, there she goes. Oh, two frames a second for the win. All right, let the thrusters kick back on, get her evened out, get the frame rate back up. Let's go survey the damage and take one more look at this ship. And since we're being lazy, and because, you know what? How odd, I can't actually switch. I can't switch to the drill. See, this is one of the issues that I'm having. Um, some of these older maps won't allow me to like hand drill. Tools and weapons, there's nothing up here. There should be though, you should have all the weapons. Yeah, I still have the hand tool here from the other map I was playing in. And I can't actually... Ooh, slow motion. <laughs> so I'm getting good frames per second, but it's like slowed to a crawl to support all the damage and destruction that's going on out there, so... I wonder if that's gonna, how they're gonna handle the lag and stuff. They're gonna just slow the game down to make it, kind of like what EVE does when you play. If you have a lot of ships in a system, it'll slow the game down to compensate for the latency. So, whereas it may take you 10 seconds to fire your main cannons. Can't even turn on my thrusters right now, come on. There we go. It, where it may take you 10 seconds to fire your main cannons in a battleship. Normally in EVE, when you get into a fleet fight with 2,000 people, it can take up to a couple of minutes. Um, it's been a while since I've been into one of the major fleet fights, so they may have done some, some updates since I've last played that, so. 
Don't quote me on those numbers. I just remember how it was back in the day. It was pretty rough. Ah, uh, she's still like sliding against it. You see the sparks coming off? That rock is embedded into the ship now. Kill the thrusters. It's got gravity all the way through, so that's good. Think about playing with your friends in this, though, and your ship gets damaged from a pirate raid. Oh, crap. Ah! So you're gonna have to, like, pull over to some asteroid and mine it for the resources, or grab what's left of the pirate ship and, you know, weld them into pieces and then move them into place to actually fix the hull breaches that you've got. Yeah, she's still... She's still rubbing up against the damage. I love the damage modeling in this. I mean, like that's one of those things I just can't get over. Is how awesome that is. It's one of those things I always wanted in Minecraft was full physics damage modeling. I thought that's where they would be going with it, but it seems like Notch has more or less kind of stopped development. He gets bored. He said it multiple times in his, in his dev blog back in the day. It's like he gets bored with a project and he'll just walk away. Even when so successful. It's kind of a game where it was harmed by how successful it was. He got so successful he wasn't hungry for making a better game anymore and he just kind of stopped, which is too bad. Oh, here we go, hull breach. Now, I don't know if it was a bug back in the day, but if you detached a gravity, whoa, there's thrusters in here. Don't turn the engines on. Um, but if you detached a, or damaged in any way a reactor, it would actually explode and blow out all the, um, all the armor bits that were touching it, pretty much. Now, I hope it's not a bug. I actually like that idea. Targeting an enemy's reactors to do more damage to them. I'm so stuck right now. So let's just, since there's no welding device yet that works, we'll just cut some holes in the roof. I think she held up pretty well. I would fly this baby into battle, you know, if I had the frame rate to support it. Woo, look at that thing. It's so detailed, I love the little details. All right, guys, well, if you see a build that looks awesome or you've done a build that is awesome, please send me an email. The link will be down below. Uh, I'm still building this really cool montage, and we've got it about 75% done, so I need a few more clips of cool builds, space stations. It doesn't have to be ships, uh, anything. Put it up on the workshop and send me a link so I can actually load it up, and I'll record the footage myself. Unless you've got Fraps and a YouTube account, then please feel free to send me the link to the actual uploaded video you want used. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. And I will see you guys next time. Bom, bom, bom.